What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. What is up today? I'm showing you how to remove mechanical switches from my Z19 EU, so mechanical gaming keyboard. Um, it's not generally meant to be hard, and I'm going to go and guess that it will be very easy to do on my EUSO because I've noticed in the past EUSO keyboards are very easy to pull off switches. Keep in mind, if you're watching this for a different keyboard, if you have a different mechanical keyboard, you still take off switches like this, but some of them, it really feels like you're pulling out of a tooth. Like it, it can be just such a big pain, like as if I'm at the gym or something, just trying to lift something super heavy. Um, again, I'm hoping this one will be simple enough to pull out. I haven't done it yet, so that way you can see regardless of how much of a struggle it is for me. But you'll see I've already taken off a couple caps. If you want to see how to take off caps, I do have a video on that. But let's go ahead and remove a couple switches. I'll just remove two switches because it'll be the same for both and I'll show you how to put them back on. So I'll go ahead and pull this up a little bit closer. Let me refocus that a little bit. And so just to orient yourself, you want to put this tool in these two spots. So above and below. And I'm going to turn my keyboard sideways. So just so it's a little bit easier for me to get a grip and then there, just came right off really easy. Uh, let's see if that was a fluke or if it really is that easy. Like I said, EU so usually is pretty easy to remove switches from. So let's go ahead and try to wiggle this into place. And yep, super easy to remove. And another thing about EU so is they pretty much allow for any three or five pin switches to fit in there. So keep that in mind as well if you do have this specific keyboard and are trying to replace the switches. Now for putting the switches back in. What I like to do, and you know, if there is a better way to do this, let me know. But oh yeah, let me show you what kind of switches these are too, real quick. Um, might be a little too hard to tell there, but it's. I'm gonna just read off the letters. I think it says H U A N O is the brand. So for those of you who might be trying to figure out which brand they are, that is what the brand of these switches are. So to put them back on, what I like to do is I like to lightly put them into place, and you're gonna notice that. Right now I'm like wiggling it up, down, left, right, and it's pretty secure as far as being in place. I haven't pushed it down yet. Now what I want to do is I want to push it down perpendicular and not with too much pressure. You'll notice it kind of clicks into place. And the reason is because you don't want to break the pretty much the legs on this, the wires on it. And so that's why you want to make sure you line it up. So you want the pins to be facing are on the bottom half and you just want to line it up place it down and push down lightly. If you notice it's taking a bit of force, you might be bending the pins underneath, which you can fix, but you don't want to do that in the first place. So hopefully this was an easy enough tutorial to follow. If you need me to do more of these switches so you get a better idea, let me know. I am more than happy to do another video showing you how to take off more, but that's how you remove some switches. Thanks for watching.